What are you? Another clockwork. Oh snap! Who's he? What's Do you haven't encountered these guys? No. Well, now you do. I don't think it was a good idea to add those guys in. Okay, well I'm jumping into the portal. Goodbye. Nope, I died. Day one, everybody. Day one, Tadashi Pasu has died. New record, everybody. Hey, <laughs> what killed you over here? Uh, this guy here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Wendy. Okay. So, um, starting a new world. Segment one still of season two, etc., etc., etc. Uh, you already saw the, how horrible that went. I tried this once more. I I just I just added more berries and stuff like that. I didn't add in more random monstrosities. <laughs> uh, Why not? Okay. You had such a great time. It was definitely more interesting, wasn't it? Uh, yes, to my chagrin. All right, let's start collecting. Ah, uh, nothing like the first first two days of just collecting resources. So, Montes, have you played Don't Starve for long? Yes. You have? Well, um, what's the farthest day you've made it to? Uh, I think, like, 30, 40 days. I only made it to, like, 30, because, like, like, summer just kind of messes everything up for me. It's really rough. Yeah, really rough. and winter is the one that screws me over. I don't know, as long as you have, like, oh, not the gobble gobble. As long as you have like uh what is it? Source uh source of food and source of heat, you're good. But in summer, when things catch on fire, it's just so dumb. I can't live. I mean I love the yeah. heat personally, but I don't love fire. Okay, that's yeah. a lie. I love fire, but I don't like being burned by it. No, in my case what what killed me off is because since it's winter I tend to explore out and I have myself so set up that I can actually um I can make resurrection stuff. The problem is, is that when I resurrect, I'm in the middle of winter and I don't have anything on me, so I start, I freeze to death. See, that's why I just kind of like stick with the whole uh, domestic duties. Like, I just build a subtle base for myself, and then instead of adventuring, when I'm not entirely sure of how everything's going to turn out, I just kind of stick to uh, what keeps me safe. I turn into a hermit, despite being outside. Okay, so where where shall we set up a uh, camp this time? Do not know. I haven't quite found a place that really piques my interest. Also, another thing, if you wanted to add more challenge to it, instead of adding more mobs, just decrease the amount of daytime we have. That would have been a I think that would have been a better balance. There would have been more resources but less time to explore said resources. True, very true. I found a road. I'm up north, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, I'm I'm west. I'm east. It's uh, an altar. No, touchstone. A feudal ward. Let's see, I could make a few things now. Hey, look, dead person. Drop off any useful stuff. Ah, eh, just a pickaxe. <coughs> Well, that's a pickaxe I don't have to build. So where do you want to set up camp? I guess somewhere nearby the portal for now would be good. And then we can just move it later. Right now... Well, actually, I guess it's not a bad place. The only thing is that we need to find beefalo. If we can find beefalo somewhere, then we should be golden. I was about beef. to say that we can set up camp in a near beefalo place, but that's not a really good idea when they become in heat. No, no, that's that's when you really want them. That's when, when you really want the beefalo. Yes. Why? When they're in heat. Because it makes things interesting. Ah. <laughs> okay, hey, a tall bird. Don't need that in my life. Among other things. Okay, so I got gold. 
Let's say just following this road, head down. And I should be back to where I was. Oh, look at all these carrots and all these berries and all this pond. Ugh. All of it. All these resources. I will never starve. Where are you? Uh, I'm a little north of where the portal is. Just a wee bit. Okay. Tick, tick, tick. Okay. Let's see here. Nope. Stop right into the rock. <clears throat> see here. Where to go, where to go. Yep, but you haven't one. gotten any colds recently? A colds? Yeah, colds. No, no, no. I've been perfectly fine for like the past two, three years. I envy you. <laughs> I get a cold at least once a year. Eh. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I always try to make sure I eat somewhat balanced. Always make sure I get enough rest. And, uh, I say somewhat active just to keep my body up. But, I don't know. Other than that, I don't really do much else. Yeah, but because from the pictures I've seen you, you tend to be pretty fit. Yeah, I was, uh, I played soccer for seven years and did track for five. Uh, right, where should we settle camp? Uh, want to set it at another crossroads again? Uh, where, where crossroads do you recommend? If we go up north, there's quite a few rocks. I'm not sure you said about you found, you, you said you found a lot of vegetation, right? Oh, yeah. That was just like, over here. Hey, hey, look, night time. It's dark. Save me. One taste. Uh, there. there you go. <laughs> You are gonna I had an protector. axe in my hand, so it doesn't automatically put it in my hand. Yeah. Do you, do you need a torch? I got a torch, if you want one. Uh, do you have two? I have one. Here. Okay. There you go. go. Okay. It's up here. Lead the way. It's like slightly off to the side. If I can... Uh... Wait, this is the break, so it should be like right over here. Yep. This is where a bunch of uh, berry bushes and uh, hey, a mushroom. Blue mushroom. So yep. that one. That <laughs> one does. I have a red cap mushroom, a green cap mushroom, now a blue cap mushroom. Okay, then I'll set up camp right here on top of this road. Putting the road. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is good. All right, I'll set up right here. Yeah, and there's also some few trees and such. Also, uh, did you make? Sh did you uh, check recording time? Because I didn't. It is. It is. Uh, I didn't check what the previous recording time was, but right now, as of when we started, it's uh, nine minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. Yeah. It's. It's gonna be by the end of my editing and so forth. It's gonna be more than thirty minutes because oh, I yeah. actually do do want to put in a bit of the beforehand stuff. Yeah, the beforehand right. wasn't uh, that long. I would say like not longer than like five minutes, because that, that that little uh, that little show ended really quickly. We can make it for this for this part here. We can make it twenty minutes, so we don't overextend ourselves. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure like it, everyone will be really excited just to have some "Don't Starve" let's play, because you know. That's something that we're really good at, as uh, as previously shown by season one and that little excerpt at the beginning of this episode. Uh huh. I have no idea where I'm going. I need to stop mindlessly exploring. It's always a bad idea. Okay, so all we need to do is find some beeplos. Yep, I'm heading. Uh, oh. I'm heading west. Okay, and I'm gonna start working on collecting um, wood for now. It's just gonna mass and and wood. Mass and wood. Oh yeah, Montes, do you uh do you watch any sports? Uh no. No? Not even soccer? No. Oh, soccer is so much fun. Well, I mean, 
It's more fun to play, yeah, but well, it's uh, it's also inter entertaining to watch. Personally, yeah, well, of all the of all the sports, soccer probably is the one that I'm most likely watch. I know sometimes it's just to watch some of the European League stuff, and of course, whenever the World Cup rolls around, it's always it's always nice to just kind of watch some of that. It really inspires me to hey, you know what? Maybe I'll practice my shots today. I'm not in soccer anymore, but you know what? I think I'll practice my shots. You ever play any sports before? Yes, I did a bit of soccer. Soccer? Did you play long? No. No? Just didn't like Just, it? Uh, it's... Running out of... Oh, here we go. Um, I'm just not really good at it. I'm not very athletic. Eh, you don't really have to be good at it. I mean, as long as you, as long as you somewhat enjoy it. Yeah, I, I do enjoy. Did you ever play like back in high school or anything? Nah. No. Uh, once I got to high school, I've been less and less athletic. Really? It was kind of opposite is... for me. Hot stop. Although, did you see this? Did you see this touchstone already? Yeah, I did. Oh, this is a place you can resurrect, I think. Right? I think. Such a touching stone. Oh, I like it sometimes where what he says. Uh... Although, uh, let's see. I honestly didn't really envision myself doing sports though, because it was like in junior high, like, I was like, you know what, I'll try out for the track team, see how well that goes, and uh, didn't go too well, I was, because at that time I was like really chub, a really chunky 6th grader, and I was like, yeah, then like, I, I honestly, uh, I quit, I quit the team like two weeks in, because I just could not keep up with the running, but then uh, 7th grade year, I hung out with my my friend Sergio, like, a lot because we know each other since uh, first grade. And whenever I I just go to his house like directly after school since it was within walking distance. So I just like go to his place and uh, what would happen is like he would have soccer practice for FC to go to. And I was like, eh, no one's ready to pick me up at home. I guess I'll just chill with him and go to his soccer practice. And like slowly. Like, ever so slowly, like, the coach would, like, hey, you should, since you're here, you might as well just, like, try and join in with the team. And, I don't know, after a while, just kind of, like, I don't know, I just slowly started getting into it, because I didn't have to do, like, so much running, but I was still, like, you know, engaging with the team and all that. There's a backpack here if you want it. Backpack. 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 It can also be used as a storage, so you store things onto the backpack, and then you drop them off. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a mod that has the uh, the backpack as a separate slot, which is actually kind of nice. Here, what do I can make? What do I can make? Wow, that's terrible English. Let's see, there's a compass, a backpack I can mark. It may be terrible English, but it's really good American English. American English, America. American. Just have. A just have the American flag just waving in the back. America. See here. Yeah. What do I need? Hey, since you're uh, since you're Wilson, you can uh, get yourself that razor so you can shave that beatnik beard of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have to wait until it grows longer. <clears throat> Winter right. is coming. What do I want to do? I opened up this menu for a reason. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. Oh wait, I can make a. Boop, boop, boop. Where are you? <laughs> and that is a heck. Go. Start up by wall tree, starting with two, two saplings. Now. There is. Oh, I haven't been collecting wood at all. That's a. That's something to note. Can you oh, make a uh, chest? Here's some wood. Wood, wood. There you go. That oh, way I, I like I like what this. Wilson says when you click on this. You know the whole hammer time song, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah. 
do you how do you examine something? Very quick, right? I think. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the fire's about to go out. Uh, uh things to burn. Well, you got the wood. Yes, I do. Got all the wood. I should do it. Not too much, cause you'll set the whole place on fire. No, actually, if it's in the fire pit, it won't like explode outwards. It's only if it's just the wooden one. Oh, okay. So you can maximize this as much as you want and have not have to worry about it. Uh, the Here. next item would be the alchemy table, which will need the electrical doodad, cut stone, and boards. There we go. Best. All right. Awesome. Now we can throw uh, materials that we don't need there. So it's not just taking up inventory space. So. There oh, you go. go. Now it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's that? We got power. Ah, oh, it's not time for her to be released yet. That's unfortunate. There we go. Yeah. Abigail, you have to wait a few more days. But you're almost ready, and I'm ready for you. That sounded somewhat wrong. Did it? I don't know. Ready Montes. for you. I, yeah, I, that's what I thought. It's like, you Montes, you kind of have to stretch that. Dirty, dirty dog, you. Let's see here. I have a pickaxe. What can I do with a pickaxe? I can use it. Then you cutting wood. There's frogs there. You know, the death you, of can, us. you can kill the frogs. You're strong enough. Man up, you got an axe. Uh, I'll wait. You'll wait. <clears throat> Here. Where to go, where to go. What have I been? I've not been to the, uh, the east. Let's go here. Hey, look. Berries. Carrots. And all the such. Wow. The east was a very short adventure. Oh, you right, uh, reached the shore? Yep, already. Man, all of this to east. So much, so vast. Collecting. Let's see here. I say it a lot. Let's see here. Just my transition from most things. Aside from, uh, um... Oh, I hear a turkey bird. Where is he? Where he's, is he? Uh, he's up uh, east of our uh, our base. Go south. Right. Sewer. Uh, what would it be? It'd be like, Minami e Ikimasu. I don't know. I need to make sure I do practice my Japanese somewhat over break. Cause if I forget I en that, I envy your your Japanese speaking skills. Cause I have to rely on translations for everything that I read or watch. Um, I'm still kind of rough when it comes to Japanese, but I can get the general idea of senses. It's just that picking up the specifics is what's killing me. But then Especially again, like like the very confusing Jap uh, Chinese based ones. Chinese? Uh, Chinese symbols that the oh, Japanese Oh, the kanji, use. yeah. Because all Japanese characters are derived from kanji. It's actually simplified kanji. And then the kanji that they actually use is for, uh, for meaning. So the Japanese have pretty much three like character sets that they write in, which is hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Hiragana is for native words. In the Japanese language, katakana you use to write words that are not native, so such as American words, and then kanji is the uh, the base characters for uh, basically the entirety that makes up a majority of the language. But the purpose is, well, um, hiragana and katakana those are used to represent sounds, and then kanji is used to represent meaning. Popular as ever. 
with just one person. I'm still <laughs> meaning to play with him and so forth, so yeah. As soon as we're done this recording, I can appease him. <laughs> All hail the mighty Beeper. Not to be confused with Beaver. Unless you happen He's to hang out boss. with him. He's the boss. Yeah, I hung out with him, uh, I think, on Friday for a while. I, haven't, I didn't hear from him on Saturday, but probably. Oh, you hung out with Justin Bieber? That's pretty no, chill. No, the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Did, did it sound like that? Uh, contextually, yeah. Because the last thing I mentioned was Bieber. And oh. then you could follow it up by, yeah, the last time I hung out with him. Farm, I need poop. You know, you're, right. I'm pretty sure your your house has a bathroom. You really need to go. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, so I got a trap down. Much else can be. You don't need to be in any of that business over here. Just gonna mind my own business and keep collecting all this food. You know, so we don't starve together. But you want me to starve alone? Yeah. Could you? That's kind of how I want it to be. I mean, I have... Backstabber. I have 13 carrots, 18 berries, and I have several shrooms of all sorts and varieties. I think I'll be good for a while. Where am I? Where I need to head you? in this direction. I don't know, I just go off on a weird tangent. I'm just like all over the place. If I can control 12 different characters at once. Wonderful. Why 12 particularly? No idea. But it'd be wonderful. What can I do here? I can make tools? Nah, I don't really need to make tools. I can refine things. Cut stone. Or maybe I want to do some science-y doodads. <laughs> Electrical doodad. Hey, getting ready for that rainy weather? Yep. Or the sunny weather. True. Also works. Let's see, is there anything else I want to throw in here? Let's see. There we go. <gasps> Abigail is ready! Okay. If only Does her Ab presence affect me? No, you should be fine. Right. Uh, where is something I can kill? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The frogs. I cannot kill those. I personally cannot. But if you kill them with Wendy out and about, that'll work. So, uh, actually, can I make a uh, can I make a trap? Survival trap? Yes? No? Yay? Nay? Oh, I need more hay. Cut grass. Hey, there's some in the chest. Is there? I have not been paying attention. I'm just gonna take this dick. Come on. Set it. There we go. Now if a bird comes by, I will just uh break its neck. Oh you can you well, you can catch them with the windows. Hmm? Catch birds with with uh Oh yeah, never mind. You're right. Cause I know, I do know it's a, a different kind of trap. It's a Yeah, there's an actual bird trap, but that requires spiders. Spider web. I forgot. Come on. Wait, maybe if I can capture... Oh, you eat the seeds. Come on. Get closer. Oh, look, Abigail's flower. Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, I have to equip something to actually kill it. Okay. Alright, okay, then I'll then. kill it. Where is he? Where is he? Um, you bugger. can also kill butterflies. That also works. Okay, do I have anything? Can I make anything yet? No. There we go, Ooh. I killed it. No, it has to be near the flower. Oh. If so if you kill, happen to kill one of these butterflies, it should work. Where are you? Oh, it's right there. Okay. So you can somehow kill one. 
It's hard to click on them. It's coming back towards you. Here it comes. Frog? Or the butterfly? Here, I'm gonna try and push this towards you. There we go. There we there go. There you go. All right. Thank you. Now there we go. Welcome to the party. Ah, oh, she has a cute little bow. Yep, it matches mine. Yes, I can attack her. Ah, <laughs> that's not a good idea because I can't control her. If you attack me, she will attack you. I mean, unless you want to fight a ghost. Okay, so I have frog legs. Let's cook them. Cook frog legs. I have a lot of carrots. These are all carrots that I'm cooking, by the way. Couldn't tell. There we go. Still need poop. I mean, if you, if you really need poop that badly, man, I mean, <laughs> I can help you out. <laughs> uh, the yes. Um, how's the recording? We should sum up the recording here. Okay. So let's get back to the camp and blend it there. We got ourselves a ghost, and this time it's neither of us. Yes. Oh wait, wait. There we go. There. All right, so this is Montes and Tadashi Pasu. Playing. We don't... And, we... Yeah, we're playing Don't Starve, which... <laughs> I was about to uh, say, uh, we don't starve, because uh, I yeah. think we're doing decent. Day four. Okay, so... Please have a good week, and hopefully to see you next week with more Don't Starve, and... Have a good day. Bye-bye. See everybody, Dashi Basu signing out.